it starts with sunlight on the leaves and the ending is delicious carbohydrates this is the secret to the creation of energy for all life so this is a quick overview of how photosynthesis works you've got this lovely plant here the leaf of a nasturtium and of course this leaf is very green because of it, what's inside its cells. So if we focus in on just one individual tiny cell of this leaf, we've got a plant cell. And within the plant cell, you'll notice these green structures that give plants their green color, called chloroplasts. And let's take a look at what's going on, what's exactly inside of a chloroplast. Now the chloroplast is made up of this, it's kind of like a round circle, and it's got these stacks of little sacs inside. These individual stacks of sacs are called grana. They're like little grains of green stuff. So they are called grana, it means like grains. And each grana is made up of multiple little bags or sacs called thylakoids. Now, thylakoid comes from the Greek word which means a bag or a sack. So there's no surprise there. And now these thylakoids, of course, they're surrounded by a thylakoid membrane. And if you could imagine the outside of the thylakoid is the actual green part. You've seen what cell membranes look like in other cells. If you can imagine you've got your phospholipids and then you have proteins embedded in them. And along with the proteins, we've got lots of chlorophyll embedded in the membrane of this thylakoid. So in the thylakoid membrane, there's lots of chlorophyll. It's right here along inside the membrane. So if you think about this, you've got light reactions that take place of course as a result of the chlorophyll and so they happen in the thylakoid membrane. Now there's also a reaction called the Calvin cycle which takes place in the empty space within the chloroplast. It does not happen in the grana. So remember the light reactions happen in the thylakoid membrane. The Calvin cycle takes place outside. We're going to get into the light reactions and the Calvin cycle in a lot more detail in some future videos. In the meantime though, let's just take a quick look at what happens. So you've got this lovely yellow sunshine here and it's shining its, shining its rays down onto the leaf and onto the plant cells and onto the chloroplast within the plant cells. And of course the chloroplasts are green because they have all these um, grana and of course the grana are made up of thylakoids and the thylakoid membrane is full of chlorophyll and that's what gives it the color green. And so as it absorbs this light, what happens is a lot of things. First of all, there's H2O, there's water inside of every cell. Plants take up water from the roots. That H2O gets split up, so you've got hydrogen and oxygen separated from one another. Now these chemicals get created, which we're not going to look at in detail in this video, but you should know what they are. So there's NADPH, which gets created in the light reactions. And also ATP, which as you hopefully know, that's the energy currency of all living things. And then of course, since the H2O, the water has been split up, the O, the oxygen, is released back into the atmosphere. And this is how, you, as you've heard, plants produce oxygen or release free oxygen so that it can be used by other living things. Now let's look at the Calvin cycle. Remember, the Calvin cycle takes place not in the thylakoid membranes, but just in the space inside the chloroplast. So now this is where the carbon dioxide comes in. As you know, plants absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, so that CO2, carbon dioxide, forms chemical bonds with the hydrogen. Remember in the light reactions we separated hydrogen from oxygen, splitting up the water. Now you've got this free hydrogen, it's going to bond with the carbon dioxide. This, is, this takes energy and so the energy comes from the ATP, so the ATP gets converted to ADP from adenosine T for triphosphate to adenosine, adenosine D, adenosine diphosphate. Also the NADPH gets reduced to NAD. Again, we'll look at what these chemicals are in more detail in a future video. But the final end product is sugar, glucose, which has the, the familiar formula C6H12O6. A lot of sugar molecules get bonded together and that's how carbohydrates are formed. So there are three basic things to remember about photosynthesis. Remember it starts with water and carbon dioxide and light from the sun. Remember that we have kind of a switch off here where the water gets split up and the hydrogen joins the carbon dioxide to create carbohydrates and the oxygen gets released back into the atmosphere. Remember that photosynthesis reverses respiration. The formula is down there for you. You can also find it in your study guides if you're a member of Science Tutor Online. Also, keep in mind that basically virtually all the energy in every system 
living or non, including the gasoline in your car, ultimately comes from photosynthesis. And on that note, I'm about to enjoy the products of photosynthesis. <laughs>